that's going to take place after this set. John Numbers and t -Pi. I think they played in the last monthly, too. So this might be a little bit of a run back. Ooh, ooh, this is going to be Terry versus We Fit Trainer. Now, um... Hey, come on, come on. Come on, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone's, uh, every, we're all friends here. He just wants to know if you're doing all right. Does Weefa have the best walk? Just like um, walk backwards in the game. Uh, that is a, well, we're talking like normal walk. Yeah, just like not even in terms of like frame data as, I mean, numbers is start getting out to a huge lead thanks to deep breathing. But like just just the walk, like this yeah, is, it just aesthetic. looks. I, yeah, I'm sorry. The bayonetta has the best walk. Oh, you know what? The you runway yeah, walk. Correctly, I mean, absolutely yeah. correct. Um, we've been trainer. She 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 shows good poise though. Yeah, definitely got that posture on deck, and she's trying to get, give you good posture as she beats it into your spine. It's, <laughs> it's a it's a new brand of physical therapy. Yeah, super yoga. Oh, the ball ate up the Sun Salutation. Teapot getting saved from massive damage as he still has the go on deck. Yep. Uh, Buster Wolf, right? It is right? still no. go time. <gasps> is that it? Okay, it goes for the up B, but it's not enough to kill quite yet. Numbers, though, at 104%. He got deep breathing in, which will help with his survivability a little bit, and also the kill power that F tilt just barely intercepting uh, Teapot before he get back down to the ground. And now Numbers with a pretty effective lead, not just because, you know, of the stock, but also he's no longer in the go zone. I don't know what the popular term for it is, so I'm just going to make up a different one each time. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Using the down to intercept numbers on the ledge. Because normally numbers can get pretty cheeky when he's on the ledge. Uh, but definitely was not expecting uh, that move to go through everything and actually take his stock. Nonetheless, Teapot is playing quite from behind right now. Yeah, and look how much respect Numbers is currently giving Teapot. I mean, that dash in was incredibly risky, but he's always making sure to walk back just a little bit extra every time that he sets up something like a sound salutation so that a move incredibly quick like uh, like Crack Shoot or Burn Knuckle doesn't catch him as he didn't get hit by the F tilt, but that's still, still catching the air dodge back or the... Yeah, no, it wasn't air dodge, but <laughs> roll in, get, equally getting stuffed out as both characters are set to blow each other up right now. Uh, deep breathing yeah. is gone, though. Speaking of the roll-ins, numbers read that roll for the last stock. Uh, and, oh, again, he's been going for that. Whoa! Numbers is not expecting these burst options multiple times. Uh, you know, Terry using his special moves to close the distance, and Numbers not been able to react. Ooh. Right, today we learned. Power Wave gets destroyed by Sun Salutation. Alright, and, and Teapot seems to have been equally learned that as he's starting to head to the platforms when he sees that charge coming. If there's anything that I can recognize from Teapot is that he looks for the big play as a case in point, these down airs. He's trying to find these kills and make certain that while numbers weigh min win neutral more, he wins it when it matters. As this game is looking mighty even as we head into the final, uh, the final leg. I'm beginning to wonder how much experience numbers has in this matchup because you saw how he adapted to oh he's going for you know these these down bees to you know attack me in the corner. But then he shielded it and didn't quite get the punish because he underestimated the uh, the lag. Oh, wow, from across the stage. What, uh, what was that, Numbers? If Numbers lost because he fast fell into the blast zone, I would have... He would never do that. Numbers knows all sorts of weird esoteric things in this game. He probably knows how to, like, pixel perfect fast fall so that your opponent still dies off the top before you die off the bottom. He probably is so sure of like, man, if I wait on ledge, then hold down for just a half a frame and then let myself fall neutral uh, how without do you fast fall. For, how do you hold for half a frame? You be very, very careful. <laughs> All right, looks like we're just going, he's running it right back. Teapot was not out of that game by any stretch of the imagination, but... Numbers, if again, 
a very, very practiced within the New York scene. And Vivi, uh, despite being known primarily for his Lucario and perhaps his hero, has experimented with characters like Hero, uh, not Hero, like Terry. So perhaps a little bit of matchup experience on that front for uh, Mr. Numbers as he looks to seal out this game with a two, uh, seal out the set with a 2-0. Reading to Len, his old home, his reliable place. And I will say, Teapot seems to, for the, right as I say that, uh, but for the most part, he's effectively putting on some pressure without getting too committal on dealing with the ledge. And that's where, that's where Terry can be quite good, is that some of his big home run swings aren't nearly as committal. I mean, we've been... We've been pointing out the the true input uh, burn knuckles, uh, not burn knuckles, uh, power dives, power dunks. Those are plus on block. <laughs> that is the second time that's happened. The second time he's gone for that. And Numbers has dropped shield to get jabbed. Uh, he definitely needs to be adjusting to that because otherwise one more of those will absolutely take his stock. Oh, the spacing on that. Did you see how he just micro positioned himself of, oh. Question, was he dead? Was he already dead? No, he should have snapped to ledge at the Numbers, very end okay. there, but the, it looked like the invincibility ran out just in the nick of time for Mr. Numbers to take a lead. Yeah, now we're gonna see some burn knuckles really start to cross stage. Power Wave has been doing a, f oh, okay. Crack shoot hits the volleyball back into WeFit. <laughs> that's, a, that's a, certainly a way to even up this game. Oh, the move from Numbers, trying to patiently choose when he's actually going to go in. And oh, as I say that, you know, for the most part, Teapot's... No jump. But he should be able to make it back. Yeah, Numbers not able to actually close out that stock, but he's getting lots and lots of damage here. Yeah, things as soon as things start to sway for numbers where he gets a, a pretty choice combo or sets up a lot of damage on ledge gets a, a couple hits with deep breathing teapot finds a way to bring it back with with some sort of like individual string it'll be like down tilt into buster wolf or like some sort of f tilt burn knuckle combo and that evens it up and he is finding himself with a lead for i think the first time in the set See if he can keep anything with... He doesn't get Sage Spike. Okay. It's solid. And He's dead. Is he dead? Wow. Okay, that is the third time that Numbers has shielded the power dive and dropped shield to get jab. Um... Yeah. yeah true definitely input. some adjustments need to be made there. He, like... Wow, he, I don't, I'm not sure what the exact counterplay is also, because as you said, it is plus on, it, it is super duper safe on shield. So what is the exact counterplay? I guess just avoiding it. Maybe oh, like when you see it coming, because it does have a little bit of a, you know, telegraphed, you know, you see him coming towards you, roll behind perhaps, and then, or the other thing you could do is just continue to hold shield, um, that, because it seems that Teapot has con been consistently going for those jabs to catch the drop shield. So if you just continue to hold shield, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's risk involved with that. Just, you know, desperately holding a shield in front of a Terry that's exerting Terry pressure. But uh, it's better than being jab jabbed and then power dunked off stage at 30 or whatever. Yeah, it's Terry, as Terry gets optimized, just like any of the FGC reps, they just find new ways to kill you super quick. And a lot of what Terry players at least have optimized is, hey, F tilt's kind of ridiculous. Um, not just because it's intangible and an incredible poke, but also because it's been set up into things like that. But by holding shield, you kind of make Terry either grab you, uh, which can still lead to combos, but not really uh, kills. Or you give yourself at the very least an opportunity to find windows in their shield, in their shield because without uh, power geyser, they're not super good. Terry isn't the best at breaking shields. He does a lot of pressure, and you can't take multiple jab strings into on block. But you can take one and get away fine with like a roll in or a jump away. 
So a little bit more shield discipline might be in numbers this future. But it also could be, you know, losing I, this set. I think that was maybe some questionable DI. I think that was the dash attack that killed numbers at an extremely low percent. Oh, and another missed tech. Oh, he actually survives. I don't think number was just expecting him to make it back to ledge. Otherwise, we've been seeing him normally. He goes out to uh, try and intercept, especially when Terry's options are already exhausted like that. Man, uh, Teapot doesn't know a defensive option if it hit him in the face. He is all aggro. I, I mean, Terry's got plenty of good buttons to really make it so. But defensive he, option hits you in the face. <laughs> like why? The best offense is a, the best defense is a good offense. <laughs> as he tries to get up DP, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now numbers managing to even up the stock count, but I'd say that Teapot has been adjusting his playstyle accordingly. The, the certain things that were really giving him a lot of mileage in the last two games, you know, those you know abusing power dunk uh, and how positive it is on shield. Uh, that's not even working out for him anymore. Numbers seems to have made the adjustment, but despite those adjustments, Numbers is still playing from behind here. There are other parts to Teapot's playstyle. The aggression, as you mentioned, really paying dividends as now he's been consistently in the lead. Uh, I mean, as we say that, the percent starts to fly, it starts to fade a little bit closer to even as the volleyball puts it, putting an extra hitbox there for Teapot to run into escapes a lot of the pressure that uh, numbers have been losing to in that second game. You are super dead. <laughs> way, way far gone in that one. Is you always have to, you always have to respect the Buster Wolf at the end and the Power Geyser at the end of the day. Because even, even if you get hit by some of the more like advanced or cheekier setups that Teapot has been throwing out, if you don't expect the Buster Wolf, it's gonna kill you at 70. <laughs> Speaking of. Salty, you there? Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm, I'm kind of absorbed in the match itself. I apologize. <laughs> we uh, we now have a. It was a dead even game, but each of these stocks, it seems, Teapot is the one who's always managing to get that first lead. Numbers though, trying to use his speed to his advantage, trying to dance circles around him, but Teapot not really being phased. Instead, going through, getting those big hits, another power dive, putting him on the ledge. He's, normally, I see numbers at the ledge. I'm like, oh, he likes to be there. But as we've seen, Perry's kill moves at the side of the stage are so, so, so dangerous that even numbers doesn't want to be there right now. Again, he finds himself dropping shield, getting caught by that. That time, though, doesn't actually get hit by the uh, the rising up B. It's going to be helping numbers out a bit. But at this point, he's still trapped. It feels like he has not figured out the game plan he needs to in order to actually turn this around yeah, and it, that's something to keep in mind if you're teapot you missed a jab jab into a rising tackle which means that numbers is sdiing down and away so you can use that to your advantage and absolutely land a kill if you're given the opportunity but the longer that this game goes on the more that it favors john numbers because he isn't he is kind of the the primordial patience of the New York region, him along with Sinji, who uh, they met in grand finals last week, uh, last month. Numbers trying to do it again. If there's anyone to put him off of his pedestal, it's gonna be Teapot. He has an excellent chance to do it. And Go is online. So on stage, and at a very high percent as well, shields that. And Numbers runs. He's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> The oh, the, the volleyball actually connecting right there. Look at these two, 126 to 128 numbers off stage. He actually throws the sun salutation. Teapot not seeing it coming. That's going to be numbers winning the set. Who won in an extremely nail-biter close game three. Wow. Man, he lost the same way in game, well, similar way in game one. He did not respect the sun salutation from deep in the, in game one, he jumped a little bit too early. In this game, the wave dash was a little weird, but 
He got caught in initial dash looking to set up his positioning before another ledge trap. And can we, I want to look back at that volleyball because we have been saying how the power dunks have been at the corner had been really hard for numbers to deal with. And at the end there, the volleyball countered that. And I, if we can maybe which, get a, a bit of a replay in the, leading in the up last to that one? last. Just here? Um, yeah, yeah, right here. Right there. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that, 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 the way he used that volleyball actually in order to uh, lock out the hit. Uh, no, before that, because he went for the power dunk and the volleyball actually intercepted the power dunk. I'm not even sure how that happened. There might have been some black oh. box thing that happened before that we don't know about. Mm, yeah, it's before that. Yeah, I mean, volleyball is a hitbox as long as it's active. As long as you can see it, it will hit you. And it can pinball infinitely so. 